The following video is taken from Way of the Rope 1. For ropes and more rope flow tutorials, go to wayoftherope.com. So now you've learned the first two key fundamentals from the Way of the Rope. They're pretty easy, right? The third one's a little harder, but nothing you can't pick up in one session. The Dragon Roll. The Dragon Roll teaches us rotational movement and sequencing for both underhand and the overhand. It bridges the two together. Let's learn how to Dragon Roll. So you're going to start with one handle in each hand, put the rope to one side, drag it in front of you to the opposite side, and then flick it diagonally over your head to your backside. Turn the ribs, flick it forwards again. So you're gonna drag it from one side to the other. We're gonna start really slow and we're gonna build up the speed till it becomes fluid. Copy as I'm doing here. Drag, flick, turn, flick. Slowly, you'll find the timing. You build up the momentum. You learn to use the rotation of your rib cage to make the rope go over in front of you and behind you. And you can see this propeller is moving in a clockwise motion. The dragon roll is a move that's done in between the overhand and the underhand. See that again from the side. So start with it, your front left, drag it to your right, flick it over to your back left, turn your chest, flick it over to your front left, turn, flick, turn. Never be afraid to come back to drilling this to help your drag and roll become smoother. Start slow and gradually build up and smooth your patterns of movement. Be relaxed, let the rope guide you, feel the rope coming down behind, then turn your chest, it comes in front. Let it come down in front, turn your chest and flick it up behind you. Open the chest, close the chest. Open the wrist, close the wrists. There's your basic dragon roll.